In less than two weeks, Riot will be globally releasing Vanguard for League of Legends, and this new anti-cheat might wipe out a lot of cheaters in the game. But they've also shared just how many cheaters League has had in recent years, and the results have been, well, disturbing. So, how bad is it? And will Vanguard really save the day? Every League player knows that, unfortunately, the game has scripters. Every now and again, a scripter will upload a VOD that shows off their insane hacks, allowing them to CS or walk, aim or dodge at inhuman levels. Which is, and like, it gives him all info, like every CD, flash, summoners, CDs, what they leveled up first, um, just so much info. But a lot of players will also tell you that the problem has never been as bad as it is in games like CS2. And although that may be true, a recent announcement from Riot has made the community realize things were far worse than they ever thought. In a dev post this month, they shared that as many as 1 in 15 games of League of Legends around the world has had a scripter or a botter in it. And in some regions, this number has climbed to as high as 1 in 5 at times. They added that cheating isn't region specific, but that they have seen higher rates of scripting in Eastern countries, which are getting spillover from cheaters in China and Korea because those regions have such strong anti-cheat systems already in place and sometimes even require government IDs to be linked to players' accounts. But the big takeaway here is that whether it's 1 in 15 or 1 in 5 games, that's probably a lot more than most people were expecting. But just because there's a fair amount of scripters, is it actually a massive problem? There's no doubt that wall hacks and Counter-Strike offer a monumental advantage, but does scripting in League offer that same kind of advantage? Well, according to Riot, scripter win rates sit at around the 80% mark, which is a win rate usually reserved for Smurfs or Korea versus NA at Worlds. And contrary to what some might have expected, scripters have been increasingly found in higher tiers compared to lower ones. As Riot says themselves, more than 10% of Masters Plus games had a cheater in them at one point. So, What's going on here? Why have we seen this increase in the amount and effectiveness of cheaters? Well, to put it in simple terms, the old anti-cheat system that they've been using for the past six years, shit's kind of f***. Riot outlined how the old system, known as Pac-Man, has always tried to protect League by making its code confusing and hard to read in the hopes that this would deter cheaters. But over time, more committed cheaters learned how to identify and get past Pac-Man's anti-cheat checks, something which Riot admits may have got even easier after last year's cyber attack on them, which saw hackers gain access to League's source code and legacy anti-cheat platform. And we may be able to see this reflected in one of the graphs Riot provided. During 2023, the total number of bans dropped, and Riot relied far more on manual bans as the Pac-Man system became overwhelmed. To put it simply, Pac-Man was never meant to last this long. It was no longer as effective, and improving it was just costing too much. But Riot had more than one homemade anti-cheat. Vanguard was originally developed for Valorant and was launched with the game back in 2020. It's designed to boot up along with the player's computer for extra security and run at the kernel level, the very core of a computer's operating system. But ever since its release, a lot of Valorant players have been unhappy with just how much much access it gives Riot to a player's computer. There's been concerns with how aggressive and invasive Vanguard is, and the League community has already raised similar concerns. Tencent, a Chinese company, now is a 100% owner of Riot Games, who will eventually have complete kernel level access to all computers that run League of Legends. So me being a security researcher, I have uninstalled League of Legends from my computer, uh, provided that Tencent did not already drop in the Valorant rootkit uh, into my computer. The key takeaway here is that Pac-Man put a lot of its energy into detecting cheats or requiring manual reviews, whereas Vanguard looks to confirm that the computer you're running the game on is an environment they can trust. Riot is promising that League players will see a dramatic decrease in the number of cheaters when 
Vanguard is introduced and that the cost of botting will be driven up as a result. They also say botters will no longer be able to easily hop onto another account and continue due to Vanguard's device fingerprinting. In their Q&A section, they also said they don't rely on AI anti-cheat that much because it struggles to detect informational cheats. So basically anything that lets a player see through fog of war or see enemies on the minimap when they shouldn't be able to. And for a game like League, you need to be able to stop informational cheats. It's a game where you can out macro a team without too many fights and win the game purely from knowing where your enemies are on the map. So for now, AI anti-cheat doesn't seem like the best way forward, but who knows what next year will look like. Overall, this has been an interesting announcement. It kind of feels like Riot asked us if we want the bad news or the good news first. The bad news is that cheating and scripting at League of Legends is far worse than anyone initially thought. Many League players took a bit of pride in how relatively cheat-free the game is compared to the likes of Counter-Strike, but figures like 1 in 15 or 1 in 5 games having cheaters in recent years kind of weakens that assumption. The good news though is that Vanguard may be the answer. It was smart of Riot to not let us know they were kind of losing the war on cheaters until they could reveal a plan to actually win it. Perhaps that's why Valve has remained so quiet about cheating in CS2. They just don't have the answer for it yet. So, when can we expect Vanguard to be leading the charge against cheaters in League? Well, according to Rioter k 3 o on Reddit, it's rolled out with patch 14.8 this week for players on the Philippines server as a final test ahead of a global launch with patch 14.9 on May 1st. But interestingly, in this week's patch notes, they noted that this rollout would exclude China for the time being, with no explanation as to why that's the case. For many years, League had a reputation as being a solid, most cheat-free game. Obviously that's apparently not been the case in recent years, but Vanguard feels like Riot's earnest attempt to climb back onto that pedestal. The question is, will they be open about the results? Their blog post was refreshingly honest, and I know the community would appreciate a similar kind of update after Vanguard has had a few months to settle in. Until then, keep an eye out in your ranked games. You may not notice a decrease in your teammates running it down, that's just League after all, but perhaps there might be fewer sus players all round. We shall see. Back in the day, cheaters and hackers and scripters used to like write letters to Riot, handwritten apologies to try and get unbanned. And sometimes they would actually unban them, but apparently 91% of the people that did that re-offended within like six months. Once a cheater, always a cheater.